Hi, I'm Jeremy, a social media team here at the Creche Museum. We are here with the, what do we call this area now? I know the name recently changed. Yes, we are now the Eden Animal Experience. Oh, and that makes sense because we have a Garden of Eden in the walkthrough of the Creche Museum. So, uh, Eden Animal Experience. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, so, we are here to, to discuss uh, one of our newest additions here to the Eden Animal Experience. Can you tell us a little more about this? Yes, so um, as most people know, we've had a little uh, baby wallaby Joey um, we added to our collection here in uh, the middle of June. So um, we've been following his progress, um, trying to do updates every Wednesday uh, about Boomer. Um, give everybody a little bit of a taste of uh, our cute little Joey here because he is very, very cute and adorable. Um, so now Boomer is actually living here at the zoo uh, full time. So he is um, getting used to living with Skippy. Um, so right now he is out with Skippy during the day um, when keepers are here. So usually first thing in the morning, um, we'll come over here and check on these guys. Um, and Boomer's usually waiting by his gate, <laughs> wanting out. Um, and then he usually does a couple, a bunch of laps around his yard. He kind of goes really quickly, hopping around in circles, getting out all that, that young animal energy he has. Um, and then he's out during the day. He has um, access to his yard as well as the main yard here with Skippy. Um, and then in the evening, he gets his bottle. He gets an evening bottle and then we'll um, lock him up in his yard, his side yard here for the night. Um, just because he's still, he's still quite a bit smaller than Skippy. So we don't want to leave him out um, overnight with Skippy quite yet. Um, so they've been together for about um, two weeks now, full time. Um, and they're doing really well. Um, Skippy here is doing a really great job of um, showing Boomer the ropes, if you will. So um, Boomer, because he's a young Joey, um, he likes to push boundaries um, with an adult wallaby and kind of see how much he's able to get away with. Um, so Skippy's been really good about um, teaching him what's okay for him to do and what's not okay for him to do. So. Um, Boomer, um, young Joeys love to grab a hold of adults' tails. It's just something you see in kangaroos and wallabies both. Um, and the first time he did that, um, Skippy just kind of swatted at him, almost like a cat would swat. Um, and Boomer took off and he was like, he was like, oh, I didn't realize I was going to get swatted out for that. Um, so just things like that. And Skippy kind of lets him know, hey, this is my space. You have your space, I have my space, we're good. Um, but really from, the, when, from their first um, meeting out here in the yard, we really, I've been really pleased with how well they're getting along. Um, and a lot of that had to do with the fact that we did have Boomer out here in the yard with Skippy um, in his little holding area over here um, where they could see each other, smell each other, hear each other um, for uh, almost two months. So that really, really helped them. He got used to, he got used to being um, around Boomer and Boomer got used to him. Um, so that was a really, really good thing that we were able to do for, for these guys. So um, they're getting along really well. And with the cooler temperatures, these guys are going to be more active. So um, there for a while, we had a lot of heat. Um, it was really hot. So during the day, Skippy would be in his barn. Boomer would be in his, in his little um, run-in over here and under their fans. And yeah, they were, they were pretty much just like, yep, it's really hot. But uh, now that it's cooling down, they are going to be much more active. So, and we usually typically try to provide their enrichment a little bit after midday. So um, when our guests come out around um, one or two o'clock, they get a chance to, to see them out and out, out and being active. So. So we were trying to find an emoji to associate <laughs> with this live stream. We were looking for like a kangaroo emoji. There's, now we no, know that. There's not. <laughs> we know that wallabies aren't kangaroos, yeah. but they're the same kind, right? Yes. Yeah. So wallabies and kangaroos are members of the same family or created kind. Um, it's called the macropod kind. Um, and macropod, um, it refers to their big back feet. So kangaroos and wallabies both have very large um, back feet. Um, and that helps them hop um, and do that, that traditional hop that we associate with kangaroos. Um, a lot of times people think, come out here and think we do have kangaroos here. Um, so these guys get called kangaroos all the time, uh, but because they are members of the same family or created kind, we're able to just explain to our guests, well, you're, you're mostly right. They are in the kangaroo, the kangaroo kind. Sure. So I am on the live stream here right now. We're looking at the comments. So if you happen to have any comments why we're live streaming, feel free to ask, but we'll come back afterwards and answer those as well. 
So it would seem that Boomer is a little camera shy. Is there a possibility of getting some more visuals of Boomer? Yes, I'm gonna go, I'll go grab him and bring him back out. I think he's, uh, as I said, he's a little bit timid. Skippy kind of let him know earlier that the, the mulberry branches in here were for Skippy and not for <laughs> Boomer earlier. So Boomer is a little bit shy today. So I'll go and grab him. All right, so we are waiting for Boomer to come out. So right now we are with Skippy, uh, a kangaroo and you can come out to the creation museum right now and see skippy in action so like uh, leanne said to come out during the middle of the day all right here's boomer right now yeah. so he's just he, he says it's nap time so he actually went in the barn and was all lounged just in the bedding just hanging out so right now what we're doing, if you notice, he's got his harness on and I know we posted um, a picture a couple weeks ago <laughs> um, about his harness. Um, we are in the process of harness training him, so getting him comfortable to wearing that harness. Um, just so when, we, when he gets bigger, um, we can still use him for animal encounters or animal programming. Um, so our, our goal is to get him used to wearing the harness, also walking on a leash. Um, and then we'll also crate train him. So when we need to take him out for an event, we'll train him to go in his crate. Um, and then when we get to wherever we're going, whether it's out in the gardens or inside the museum somewhere, then we can um, ask him to come out of the crate and have his leash on and just kind of hang out and inter interact with people. Um, he's a really brave wallaby. Um, so wallabies tend to be a little bit more shy and timid. Um, but Boomer has never been a uh, very shy wallaby. He's always been very outgoing. Um, not a whole lot really scares him other than obviously today, Skippy. He's, he's a little bit not sure um, and Skippy's hanging out with us. So Boomer's kind of like, I don't know. But um, overall, he's, a, he's gonna be a really good um, program animal um, just because he is very, nothing really bothers him at all. So, and also just um, as we've been raising him, we've been trying to put him in different situations that might be a little bit scary so he can get used to them. So large groups of people. Um, he's actually gone and done um, an explore workshop with a bunch of kids, so a bunch of hands reaching and petting him and things like that. Um, so that's what we're kind of working on right now with him. And we're going to be gearing up for programs more in the future, are we? Yes, that's our that's our hope and our plan is to um, add more animal encounters and animal programming here, um, just because it's it's always a hit with not only kids but adults as well. Right. So things are constantly changing. So as you plan for coming to the Creation Museum next summer as well, things will be different even then too. So continue to come out can, and plan your trip and go to creationmuseum.org to learn more. There's many different animals that we have in this area too. What are some of the other animals that we have? Yes, so um, the wallabies are obviously a big hit. Um, also our dromedary camels. Um, so we have CJ and Gomer um, who do camel rides, um, but they're also on exhibit. Um, so we do camel encounters every day at one and three o'clock. So you get the chance to learn about the camel kind, um, camel habitat, so kind of where the camels live, um, some specific features that help them survive in the desert. Um, and then you'll get a chance to feed our camels um, as well. So we have kind of a lettuce feed after our uh, camel chat every day. And this is a unique experience because not only are you coming to the Creese Museum and you're seeing the animals, but you're getting it from a biblical foundation. So from, you know, the start of God's Word and how God created all the animals and all that. So when you have your animal encounters, you know, it's not only factual in terms of what you're learning about the animals, but you also try to kind of keep it to, you know, bringing it back to the Bible. Yes, so um, in all of our animal encounters, we obviously stress the concept of the biblical kind. Um, but even when we talk about different um, adaptations, um, we talk about it from a biblical perspective that um, defense and attack structures especially, we try to always go back to the Bible and um, God's word and explain it from a biblical perspective. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. We hadn't done a live stream and check up on, on Boomer in a while, so we are very excited to come out here and keep checking back every Wednesday for a Wallaby update, and we'll see Boomer's progress and maybe get an uh, idea how Skippy's going as well. Thank you so much.